really put to... Uh, fuck. I'm making my own game. We released Early Access a week ago. It's really put the game and the engine to its test. It's time to dive into Idle Rune and show you the fruits of our labour. So this is Idle Rune as of the current public update. Uh, a lot has changed. The UI has changed. The level systems have changed. The mechanics, the artwork, all sorts of cool, crazy stuff. Um, the main things that have changed are we released Early Access. Early Access has been a hell of a week. Instead of pumping out content and focusing on new stuff for the game, we focused on the engine and the framework of the game to get everything as solid as we can. Because you would not believe how many bugs you would come across if you just made a game and launched it. We've been working on a lot. The, the biggest problems were item duplications, out of map glitches, just general errors like null, null errors, stack errors, text of displaying, things like that. All sorts of broken things which are now fixed. In the future of the game, the shop will be gone and all of these, there, there will be a basic shop to buy basic tools. But all of the higher end stuff will be locked behind levels uh, as it is in RuneScape, which is the game that we derive our inspiration from. I should have really written a script, but I didn't, so we're just winging it. We have introduced all sorts of stuff. We have Home Teleport, which is our first magic spell. We have a dash, so the player has a cooldown for a dash and he can dash around the map. Magic's pretty overpowered, but it depletes runes, so it's quite expensive. Range now works with all sorts of projectiles. We've added working systems for food. We've added stackable items, non-stackable items. We've repaired a lot of things. Um, in the early versions of the game that are visible online, uh, a lot of the stuff is visual and there's no uh, depthful code behind it. Uh, so the frameworks have now been written for a lot of stuff. Also, the entire game is now online. Not multiplayer yet, but it will be and we now store all of our data completely online. People that have played the Early Access are currently on the high scores, and if you want to play the Early Access, uh, we have a public version coming out from December 1st. Yeah, the high scores work really well. The implementation uh, is a bit rudimentary, but it's good and it works. The main gameplay loop of this Early Access was just combat. Combat has been massively improved. Um, we've had all sorts of balancing. We've had changes to mechanics. Uh, we've had speed changes, we've implemented the dash, and best of all, we've impl implemented autoplay. So, let me buy a sword, actually. If I just buy a dagger. Uh, autoplay now automatically navigates around the world and fights monsters for you. This will be a tiered system. We'll have a skill tree and you'll unlock various things so the basic autoplay will be moving around the world attacking things uh, I expect uh, and it will only be 20% of the XP you would get if you play actively so it would be an idle mechanic you could fully idle but you'd be rewarded better if you play actively and the tiered system will eventually we do have the framework for it so it, it does work the implementations do work eventually your player will be able to do various tasks such as banking loot and and skilling. Uh, skilling is a really easy one. There are a few bugs that still exist and still crop up and they are being ironed out constantly. It's just like the old programmer's fallacy of uh, you fix one bug to appear. It's just something that happens and we are really close to having a very stable framework of the game so we're going to begin writing content now um, as we're finishing off a lot of these basic bugs. Some of them include item storage and item stacking, so these scimitars you can see uh, every time I try and sell one I gain money up here but they're not disappearing. So that's an issue with the logout system or the data saving system. So they should sell again now. Yep. So this is something that we understand, we understand how the bug works. Uh, but it crops up randomly when we're doing various things and implementing new things. Thanks to some funding that we have accrued, the game will be growing massively and as fast as we can possibly make it. Um, the funding we've received pays for a full-time developer, uh, which we have now, which is why our progress has been so, so good. And it also pays for an artist, so alongside me doing game art and buying game art from existing artists we can now make art for the game so the first major art implementation is going to be um 
Well, I'll show you. So here is the player character sprite, and he's pretty generic, pretty normal. But the the fancy thing that's going to be in game soon is equipping items. So here's a green party hat on our dude. He looks like a baller now. So armor now overlays the player character. Basic tiered armor is just recolors, um, as well as basic weapon. Every time you equip items and armor and weapons, it will now appear on the player character, which is really, really good. We had a lovely problem where everything I recorded past this point lost all the audio. So I have no idea what I said and I cannot remember, but I can see roughly what I'm doing in the background. I was talking a little bit about game mechanics. Uh, we have the dragon fight here in the background, which we're most proud of currently. It's very simple, uh, but it, at the same time it's not. As a maxed player, even kiting and avoiding dodging the dragon is hard work. Um, as you get the dragon down in health, you got to remember to eat food constantly, you got to remember to attack it constantly, you got to remember to stay in range of whatever attack style you're using. And then this happens, the second phase of the dragon fight comes along and he starts wrecking you. Uh, he can fly uh, and he can also breathe fire now so that adds an added level of excitement to the mechanics um, as a not maxed player it's hard so the lower level you are the harder it is uh, I'm not exactly sure what the lowest level is of somebody that's killed the dragon it's probably in the probably in the range of 50-60 uh, combat stats so like 50, 60 attack, strength, defense, ish. I'm not entirely sure though. Um, I'm going to keep waffling just to fill in some data and space on the rest of what I was doing. I think I was showing you guys some of the NPCs. Um, and I was talking about how our artists can now help us with animations. Because there are a few things that our animations are missing. There's a few things that our game is missing art wise and art direction wise. And we were really hoping to hire an artist. Um, yeah, so if you do want to support our project and help us financially be able to pay for this stuff, so our full-time developer and our newly found artist, please support us on Patreon. Um, we also will have a pet being introduced very soon, and the pet monster will be connected to anyone that is uh, on the Patreon tiers to unlock the pets, so please check that out. Other than that, the free version of the game is out from 1st December. It's not a public release, it's not a full release, it's just a, an early access test. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of content added by then, so this version that you're seeing here isn't even going to be what the game is like, uh, as we're going to add some skilling mechanics like woodcutting, smithing, crafting, prayer. We might have a little bit of Slayer. Uh, we should have a couple of quests, some more items, cosmetics, the player equipment view, so you should be able to see all the equipped items. It's all very, very exciting. So thanks for watching the devlog or this introductory video. If you haven't watched any other content, please check it out. See what our game was like one month ago, because we're a month and five days in compared to now. Uh, and really see the amazing progress we've been making. I thank you all for your support. I also thank everyone for directing their friends and other people to our project. It's really exciting, so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.